Hey, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today we're going to do something so much fun. I love doing reviews. You guys know that I have had many uh, a company contact me in reference to some of the reviews that I've done on the channel, from laptops to tablets to peripherals, um, traditional drawing elements, you name it. I really don't uh, discern too much whenever it comes to what I'm going to review, like, be too picky, just as long as it applies itself in some capacity to the drawing experience or to the um, the studio environment and experience. Case in point, I had a company contact me that was interested in doing me doing some vape, uh, some vape reviews, and I'm like, no, I don't do that. It has to apply to drawing. Um, plus, I don't vape. So, the wonderful people over there at CIDEA contacted me and they said, hey, would you be interested in doing a review of our latest and greatest 10-inch smart tablet? And I said, sure, why not? So, today's video is going to be all about the review of that CIDEA um, tablet. Uh, it is an Android-based tablet, so... I'm interested in seeing how it applies to the studio environment and how I would integrate it or you would integrate it as a user into your environment. There's a lot of tablets currently in the market. You have a lot of the bigger names such as Samsung, of course the Apple iPad, as well as the Surface devices which all are jockeying for your lovely tablet dollars. And then you have companies like CIDEA. And, um, I know a little bit more about production and manufacturing over there in China, Korea, and, uh, and and Mexico, and some of those areas, because I work in the toy industry, so I understand how some of these companies that manufacture tablets, let's say for Apple, or Samsung, or Huion, or whoever, whatever name it is, and then you have the company manufacturing them, and then you have the same company that actually utilizes some of their design team to create their own tablets. And I'm not saying that's what CIDEA does, but it kind of in your brain makes sense whenever you have a large company that has contracts with some of these other companies manufacturing and doing tablets that they would um, they'd want to get some of that tablet pie. So CIDEA, of course, uh, is based out of China. It is called Made in China Idea. Sometimes the names are lost in translation, so that's another thing that I'm very familiar with whenever it comes to um, mitigating the language barrier that I have as an illustrator and artist, communicating some of those ideas over to um, you know our Asian partners. And uh, this particular tablet came to me uh, via Amazon. So Amazon sells this tablet, and you can go on Amazon, and at the time of this video, there was a sale, and it was $81. $81 for this particular tablet, as I'm upside down, I'm messing things up here, for this particular tablet. Now, a few days later, it went up to like 100 and change, but I'm anxious to see exactly if it was worth it. I went through, and I looked at some of the specifications, and some of those other things that uh, we all as um, consumers, right, we compare and contrast products because we want to get the most for our dollar. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that this particular tablet actually kind of stepped it up a notch. So let's go ahead and do a really quick unboxing. And then I'm going to talk to you about what this tablet and who this tablet might actually be for. You know, I, I like I said, I've got a lot of devices in my studio, and I utilize most of them to their, I don't know, I don't want to say to their maximum degree. Some of them I use for uh, reference shots. Some of them I use, like, the cameras and, and stuff. And a lot of them, um, as long as I can draw on them, I'm, I'm definitely going to be a supporter of them. But we're going to go ahead and see what CID offers, and uh, hopefully... Um, at the end of this video, you'll kind of have a better understanding of who this company is. And um, you can compare and contrast. And a lot of times, what happens is you'll you'll see this video and you'll go and research the company and you'll look at the feedback and you'll see some of those other items, um, you know, in your brain as a consumer that kind of weighs. Do I go ahead and spend $1,000 on an Apple iPad? Or am I going to spend, say, $80 to $100 and get you know, probably 90 to 95 of the same experience 
uh, percent of the same experience that you would possibly on some of those expensive devices. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, because I'm always one to make sure that uh, I'm very transparent whenever it comes to reviewing these products. Um, I'm also one for going on and making sure that they do have a presence on Amazon and showing you, you know, me not just saying, hey, they got a presence on Amazon, check it out yourself. So here is the actual tablet that I will be reviewing today. So you can see it's got a lot of, I, I call it advertising prowess, and they always... You know, some of these companies like CIDEA and some of the uh, other, you know, budget-minded tablets, they will go in and use particular verbiage that they believe will help sell the product, right? So you have 3 gigs of RAM plus 64 gigs of storage, and then we come down to super clear resolution with eye protection. There's a film on here that has an IPS uh, 1280 by 800 10-inch display, so it is HD. Then we come down to here, 5 megapixel front camera, with an 8 megapixel rear camera and then we come here and it shows the weight and the thickness and then down to here like I mentioned 3 gigabytes of RAM with 64 gigabytes of ROM storage large 6000 milliamp capacity battery and then they're going to show you some of the details now it does since it has only 64 gigabytes of storage you can expand it with a SD card it does have an SD card slot and I was like reading these, you know, 10 inch display in cell IPS resolution comparable to a brand PC. That's that little note right there is something that I, I think needs to be um, stopped uh, just a moment, because what what happens is they'll use some of the technology from some of the higher end tablets and they'll infuse it into these lower budget minded tablets. Of course, it shows you know, it's got the speakers, it's got a Type-C, USB Type-C uh, charger, um, and we're going to get into that. And of course, the headphone jack, which is kind of an anomaly in these days. The more stable Android 11 with GMS certification, which uh, indicates that you can download from the Google Play Store and you will be safe um, in utilizing those apps. And then it has the larger battery, like I mentioned, five hours of video playback continual. And it's a great companion for your travel, work, and entertainment. Ultra thin. And then high performance processor. This, to me, is one of the most important things uh, next to battery life. It's got a 1.67 gigahertz processor, probably an ARM processor. And it makes the apps run faster and smoother with 3 gigabytes of RAM and uh, 64 storage you can do uh, apps like youtube skype netflix etc 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 and of course you can see <laughs> you can look at all these tablets oh my gosh so this company um cidea is jockeying like i said for your dollars and at 81 dollars that's what it currently is on the uh amazon website now Interesting thing is, I don't see it mentioned that expanded up to 128 gigs. Okay, wow, see it even says it here, 128 gigabyte expandable storage, 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's uh, compatible with the 5 gigahertz. We can uh, try it. And it's got a really good, a really good advertisement here on Amazon. You can go back in and look at some of the technical information. So, I just wanted to make sure that you had all the information before I get in to the minutia of the unboxing and into the using of the tablet. So, let's go to the unboxing. store. So, the box itself is really nice. It's very indicative of a lot of the other uh, products that are in the marketplace. Of course, you look right here, it indicates the different uh, RAM um, and then ROM. ROM, read-only memory, I believe that's what that stands for. So this is probably just the base storage, and then you can expand up to 128 with a SD card slot. So like I said, the overall printing is really nice. The box is nice and thick. It's not thin. And then we come to the back. Um, it just gives some of the uh, indications of what the, um, you know, what the device is and what it does. <laughs> Surprise gifts inside. Um, and it shows some of the apps that you can run on this particular device from Facebook. It's got face unlock, face, you know, facial recognition. You can play some games on it. 
uh, HD movies, it accesses YouTube, you can go to the Google Play Store. Pretty much everything that you could do with an Android 11 tablet, you can do with this tablet. And the price point is very good. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. I always like to look at the overall construction of the box because it's important to note that if the company skimps in, in areas like this, this is part of the experience, then they're gonna skimp in other areas of, as well. And so far, um, CIDEA seems to be uh, a winner. So here's the device wrapped in a static free bag. We're gonna go ahead and place that to the side. Little foam bumpers, which is pretty good. We look underneath and it looks like they've included an extra screen protector. So I was not aware this came with a screen protector. That's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and place that inside. And then of course, all the documentation, the warranty, so on and so forth that you probably wanna take care of um, you know, whenever you purchase a device like this. It is important that you register your product and I highly recommend that because it will give company that makes this the opportunity to help you out whenever something or if ever something goes wrong. So let's go ahead and pull the tablet out. Size wise, it is a 10 inch tablet and I'm sure that's diagonally 10 inches. Place that to the side and we've got the peripheral items that are boxed very well with some shiny, shiny boxes. It's a shiny, yeah. So this probably is the brick, pet power brick. Okay, and AC adapter. It is a 2000 milliamp, 2000, 240 volt charger, which is good. Okay, plugs in via, U, I'm sure, USB 3.0. And here is certificate of conformity. So that probably again has to do with the, with the plugs and cables. That looks like a, oh, that's USB-C. So that's really cool. So it conforms to the latest and greatest um, laws implemented by the EU concerning USB-C. So that's really good. So you don't have to worry about carrying a bunch of dongles around um, whenever you wanna go and plug this in somewhere. Here is the tablet. So let's go ahead and peel off this mask after application completed. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. So this is probably they applied the screen protector uh, underneath and then you peel that off after the application of the screen protector has been done. You can do that. And here is a QC sticker that was left on the side here. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and peel that off and it is Wow, that's like one of the hardest QC stickers I've ever experienced in my life. That is like really on there. Okay, we're gonna leave that <laughs> for now. Okay, so overall weight of the tablet, it's not that heavy. You know, it doesn't feel cheap. The quality, fit and finish and quality is very similar to, I would say an Apple product. Um, I don't see, a lot of times you get these tablets and you can see some bowing. I see a slight bow right here, curvature to it. Maybe that's part of the design, I don't know. I don't see it on that side, but it is on that side. If you can see it, it's slightly curved, which means the body has had some pressure on it, possibly. Um, and it looks like we have a speaker on that side. We have a speaker on that side. Here's the charge port right here. Um, that's probably another microphone or proximity sensor. Um. Let me see, uh, let me see, 8.6 millimeters thin, okay, with a portable space gray all metal design. It is all metal, so all this is aluminum. I don't feel any plastic or anything like that. And we come to the back and it shows the camera. It does say, now that is kind of scratched, which I think is fascinating. It literally just came out of the box and I can already see some scratches right here. And as you see, you know, I didn't, I didn't do anything to scratch it. So it is scratched right here, right out of the box. That is unfortunate. I don't know if that can peel off. Is that peel off maybe? No, that is plastic. So this area right here is plastic. Here's the uh, made in China, the idea, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and start it up. Push the power button. I have not charged this might need to be charged. Probably.
probably. Oh, no, okay. Made in China idea. Fascinating. Okay, so what are some of the 64 gigabytes, 1280. The actual tablet. Okay, it does have stereo speakers on the left and the right. They sound a little tinny, which means it's higher in the uh, higher in the sound spectrum. So it is taking a hot minute to start up, and it does have a front-facing camera as well for video chat. Okay. And it goes right in. It doesn't have a startup procedure or anything like that. So it's got pre-installed applications, Chrome, Google Drive, Google, I guess search engine, the Google Play Store. It's got a Photos app. You can put your Gmail on here. It's got YouTube pre-installed and YouTube Music. It also has an FM radio feature, which I'm probably it accesses the internet. A calendar, of course, the camera. So let's take a photo real quick. Remember photo locations. Next. Allow. Uh, while using the app. So here's the back facing camera. So let's go ahead and take a simple photo. Okay. And then we will. Let's switch it around. I don't know if I can... Oh, there it is. Here I am. It's around. It does... It does have an HDR feature, which is high dynamic range, so it takes multiple levels of pictures and it combines them to one image. So, if you're familiar with Android, which I am marginally familiar, my son has an Android phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this for a few days. Maybe install some applications, maybe see what it can do. Let's see if it supports pin. Okay, there is no pin support. Okay, this is an S Pen. Um, then I've got a Wacom 1 pin, which uses the same S Pen technology. So it does not support pen. Um, I don't believe. So let's have other pens and styluses that have Intrigue technology. So this is a Surface Pen. So again, no support for pen. So it does have a sound recording app as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set this up. And we're at 100% charge. That's very rare, by the way. Having 100% charge whenever you receive the tablet in. So that's pretty sweet. Um, overall, the unboxing of the C-Idea 11, Android 11 10-inch tablet um, via 2023 seems to be pretty good. I'm looking at some of the edges and everything's milled, meaning the aluminum is milled very nicely. Now, I do see something that I haven't seen in a while. We're going to go around the edge. Okay, so what I see, the glass of the screen is not recessed into the aluminum it is actually you know whatever it is 0.2 millimeters raised above so if you were to drop this on the edge there's a high probability that it may crack so i recommend getting a a, um, a case protector and it is so far i mean it's pretty snappy maybe okay so let's go ahead and do this turn it all the way up Okay. Let's see if it connects automatically to YouTube. So it goes connect to the internet. It's going to ask for my internet password. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this for a few days and it's going to be instantaneous for you guys. So I'll come back and we'll do a full review of what I think of this particular tablet. So let's go ahead and time travel. Okay, so you guys got to see the unboxing and you got to see, um, you know, the initial kind of swing of the tablet. What did I think about the tablet? I used this particular tablet for about five days and six days and I allowed my son to get on it and he played some games. Um, 
you know, I also played some games on it just to have some fun and to really test out that octa-core processor. This, uh, <laughs> one of the things that I always try and do is give a very unbiased uh, review of products. And unfortunately, in my line of work, I have been exposed to extremely high-end <laughs> products, right? I've been exposed to like your Samsung uh, uh, Galaxy Books, your iPad Pros, your, your Surface uh, Laptop Studios, all of those devices that really have a high, high performance um, quotient and they have a very high value versus, re you know, return. You get a lot of, a lot of return for your dollar. Um, this product by C-Idea actually blew my socks off. I, for 81, that's what it's for sale for right now, $81. You know, it goes up to $100 and then they'll reduce the price. $81 for, <laughs> for an HD tablet with a processor that can handle Games, you saw some of the games, and I didn't just throw at, you know, throw it at a puzzle game. I didn't throw a puzzle game at it and said, oh, it works so fine, it's so good. No, I, I had some 3D stuff in there. My son played Roblox on it. Again, those particular programs um, rely upon not only the speed of the internet, but also the capability of the graphics card and the processor. And this little tablet, this little 10 inch, little, yeah, 10 inch tablet blew my socks off. It. It handled everything I threw at it. I mean, the only thing that it wasn't able to do is to draw. And I actually tried to hook up a myriad of different tablets. And I, I hooked up one from SenseLab, I hooked up one from Huion, I hooked up one from Wacom, I hooked up one uh, from um, uh, XP Pen. So I went through the gamut and, you know, even some off brand tablets that I had. and. It did recognize that it had a tablet attached to it, and I was able to get pressure sensitivity out of the pen in specific programs. One of the programs was Krita, and the other program uh, that I used was Sketchbook Pro. Um, I'm sure if I tested it a little bit longer and tried to kind of push things a little bit, it might have worked as far as drawing and hooking a drawing tablet up to it. I mean, at the end of the day, you don't buy a device like this for uh, drawing on, because I like drawing on actually the surface of the screen, and this just didn't work out that way. And it's not really designed for that, so my expectancy was very low for that particular uh, aspect of the tablet. However, whenever it came to, you know, media consumption, right, internet browsing, internet shopping, going and, and watching YouTube videos, maybe I have this up on my screen, you know, whenever I'm drawing and I have it to my right and I'm watching YouTube videos. Um, it performed flawlessly. I actually took some pictures uh, of it, not of it, uh, with it, <laughs> and uh, the pictures, um, you know, weren't terrible, but again, this is, you know, you're looking at five megapixels and eight megapixels when a lot of the phones out there are now breaching, you know, 40, 60, 100, 200, 400 megapixels. So this, this is kind of one of those devices that it has a picture uh, capability, but in terms of like super high quality pictures, I'm not going to rely upon this tablet for that. It does the job. It also does video chat. I was floored at the uh, quality of the video chat uh, in this particular um, ecosystem uh, on this device. You know, I usually use a Mac for video chatting and I have used Windows. Um, and this was my first foray into uh, Android using video chat. Now, Android is uh, developed by Google, so it has all the Google um, apps on here. I mean, from Google Drive to Google Mail. Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna name them all. Uh, it just, it, it's got those all pre-installed, and I was just, again, I'm floored at the fact that this little tablet, this $81 to $100 tablet, has the capability to do all this. I mean, Google Meet, Google Play Store, Photos, Google Photos, um, you know, Google Chrome, and then the FM radio. I thought it was going to be internet radio. No, it's not. It's got an FM radio in the device. 
that's another thing that you know kind of check mark that some of the other my thousand dollar iPad does not have an FM radio in it and you're like why why doesn't it have an FM radio it uses this particular device uses the headphone jack and the earphones um, you know wired earphones as the antenna how novel is that I mean left and right I'm being surprised it syncs up with my Google Calendar I could do so many different things with this device um, and at the end of the day the reality is is this device is really geared towards the media consumer you know somebody that consumes media me as an artist I consume media whenever I'm working right or whenever I'm traveling um, you know and I need a device that maybe I'm, I'm in a hotel room and I don't want to watch their junky television and I've, I want to go on to my own app so it it supports stuff like Disney Plus I was able to get Disney Plus on here and the reason why I chose Disney Plus is because Disney Plus is a very uh, very heavy application I run it on my Roku I run it on my iPad my surface devices and it's constantly lagging and on this device you saw it it it, it didn't lag and and that is <laughs> again I'm I'm floored at the power of this little device battery you know I was I was literally expecting zero um, because it, it says 6,000 milliamp battery but uh, a lot of the organizations that manufacture these tablets kind of glaze over the truth well let me tell you something I only had to charge it one time one time in five days actually it's longer than that because today, uh, as the recording of this video is, is a Wednesday, and I started using it last week, so Thursday. So yeah, five, six days. I only had to charge it once, and that's after me using it, me streaming video, me playing games, my son playing a game, me using the camera, me using the microphone, I mean, me taking pictures, and it, uh, you know, using that... that uh, that power brick they include with it, it charged really quickly. I got almost 85% of the charge within um, 45 minutes to an hour. So, C idea, man, I I am anxious to see where they're going. You know, I I always say on my channel, I'm pretty easy on your products as long as they do exactly what they say they're going to do, and I'm going to give you a great review. Um, and that's not being biased. That's just being truthful. You know, I nitpick stuff. But only, I only nitpick stuff if it really like slaps me in the face because your average Joe is not going to look at uh, a tablet like I do. They're going to look at it and say, does it turn on? Does it run the apps? Is it slow? Does it connect to the internet? Does it do everything I ask within reason, right? Um, and this tablet definitely did everything and then some. The speakers uh, were okay. You know, you don't, you're not going to get a lot of bass out of them. Um, you know, that, that Hertz uh, uh, wavelength is in the high range, so just think about that whenever you're listening. Um, and uh, overall, I just, I thought it was good. So, thumbs up to CIDEA, their uh, lovely 11-inch, uh, 10-inch tablet, I believe. It's 11 inches, but it's a 10-inch diagonal, so. Um, and that's all I had for you guys today. Hopefully you didn't go running off uh, uh, before I got to the end of this. Um, little side note too, it does come with a screen protector and it did come with an extra one in the box. I actually thought about peeling this one off and installing the new one to see what the process was. But honestly, I, it's, I've done it so many times on my phone and, and other products, but it is neat. They included that little, um, that little tidbit in noting that, you know, maybe eventually the, uh, the screen protector will probably wear out and you'll want to, you know, put another one on there. So... Anyway, thank you guys for visiting the channel. Um, like and subscribe if you like what you see. And we've got more stuff coming. So, <sighs> thank you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye.